Channel 2 News begins right now with a breaking news alert. And that breaking news is coming to us from the Harris County Sheriff's Office. They are just wrapping up a news conference with Houston Crime Stoppers on a deadly shooting where a woman was gunned down right in front of her home. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers was there and has the new developments as investigators search for a killer. And Brittany, we understand that the reward in this case is now up to $20,000. Yes, Andy, that is correct. And uh, for the family members as well as detectives, they have been trying to find leads or any information in this case since the shooting happened on January 25th. And now they are saying that they need the public's help. As you mentioned, Crime Stoppers has now upped that reward to up to $20,000 for any information that might lead to an arrest in this case. Now, as we reported, Elizabeth Barraza was setting up for a garage sale outside of her home in Tomball when she was gunned down just moments after her husband left for work. Barraza later died at the hospital. The neighborhood cameras show a driver in a pickup truck drive down the street and then turn around. The driver stops, gets out of the truck, walks over to Barraza. The two exchange words. The video then shows a person pull out a gun and shoot. Now, so far, there haven't been any arrests in the case, but today we did learn from the HCSO homicide unit that they do believe they know the car that the suspect was driving. Again, asking for the public's help in, in, in this situation with, with thinking about a Nissan Frontier, it is helpful in our investigation. Again, like I said, it's not a common vehicle that you see all the time. Now, family members were also here today pleading with the public to please come forward with any information. Elizabeth Braz's husband was here today d discussing what a wonderful person, person she was, how kind she was, and how much she gave back to the community. Now, at this point, Harris County Sheriff's Office is not able to determine if the suspect that you see in that video is a man or a woman. Of course, they are asking for any help. If you have any information, contact Crime Stoppers immediately. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News.